Hello everyone. Let us start the new topic that is pressure buildup test. In the previous unit, we had seen the basic uh, equation, their development and their importance, particularly the equation from the diffusive equation and their solution for different cases, particularly uh, for infinite acting reservoir source well. That was quite useful in the case of principle of superposition where we had seen that how to calculate the pressure at certain location in the reservoir or at the wellhead when that pressure is being influenced by the other wells or different kind of geometry like fault or other things. And lastly, we had seen the Horner's approximation, where simplifying the principle of position that was applied when there was a various changes in the production rate, and that was very complicated to solve. So here in this topic, we will use this principle of superposition map to understand what is the pressure buildup test. So let us move. So actually what is well testing is, we try to produce our well for a constant rate that is Q and when suddenly change the rate from a constant flowing rate that is Q to zero, that is creating a transient inside the reservoir and that transient condition inside the reservoir is being recorded in terms of certain well bore pressure PWS and that recording is done for certain time that's called delta T and we interpret this well test data using the plotting technique that is called Horner's plotting and from this interpretation we get probability skin, initial pressure, or pressure drop because of skin, or various information related to reservoir geometry. So, in an ideal pressure buildup test, what is the assumption that there is an infinite acting reservoir? Infinite acting means there is no boundary felt by the producing well in the entire flow period and when you say infinite acting also the EI function and the LN approximation is applicable because rock and fluid properties uniform and also the Horner's approximation is applicable where we talk about the Horner's producing time that is TP in the previous classes we had seen how to estimate that TP value. So when a well is producing for constant rate for time TP, Horner's producing time TP and then it suddenly shut in and from certain time it started delta T time and pressure started building inside the reservoir also near to the well bore and that is being recorded so using the principle of superposition if you write the equation for pressure at the well bore so how will we writing that pi max pws that will bore certain pressure that is increasing with the increase in delta t that will be written something like minus 70.6 cubic B by KH ln 1688 5 mu CTR W square divided by K TP plus delta T. So there is a two layer in this case. One layer is from beginning that is TP plus delta T. And also we are including the skin because 
we are calculating the pressure at the sand phase and skin effect is there and we are applying the LN approximation because it is written for RW in that case that approximation is always valid and for the second layer what will be writing Q2 minus Q1 Q2 is 0 so that will be minus 70.6 0 minus Q1 that is Q so it is minus Q divided divide by KH and at the top it is multiplied by mu b and again ln approximation is applied but the second layer is written from this delta t is 0 that's why only k into delta t is there and minus 2s because skin effect is there and when we combine these two layer and form superimpose one after another what we get is certain pressure pws equal to pi minus 70.6 q mu b by kh ln tp plus delta t divided by t or we can write something kind of pws well both certain pressure equal to pi minus 162.6 q mu b by kh ln tp plus delta t divided by delta t only thing is there in the previous equation here we had converted it from ln to log and we had multiplied by 2.303 if you multiply 70.2 multiply by 2.303 you will get 162.6 and if you try to plot this equation in terms of semi logarithmic the whole equation will be giving a straight line and the slope will be 162.6 q mu b by kh and if we calculate the slope from this plotting technique we can estimate back the permeability for the reservoir from which this data set has been recorded this particular technique the way it has been plotted is called Horner's plotting technique here it is semi logarithmic plot between Wellbore certain pressure versus the Horner's time ratio that is Tp plus delta T divided by delta T. Here the x axis is already in the logarithmic scale, so there is no need to take the log. And when we plot it, so the extrapolation of this straight line, this is ideal build up test, so there will be a perfect straight line and the extrapolation of this will be intersecting to a point where delta t is very large and in that case this tp plus delta t if delta t is very large you will get the limit value and at log 1 you will get the initial reservoir pressure so this is Horner's plotting technique that is different from the Horner's approximation that was in the previous chapter and we applied it for calculating the Horner's producing time or say approximating the production time and simplifying the principle of superposition. Another important factor apart from probability estimation from this well test data, transient well test data, is the estimation of skin. So there is a two equation actually. The first equation is derived from the assumption that when well was just before that well was producing and the pressure at the same phase PWF is written something like that pi plus 70.6 q mu b by kh ln 1688 because ln approximation is applied and minus twice s because skin effect is there so when you try to write in terms of slope that equation will be turns into pi plus m that is slope into log 1 
डिवाइड बाय के टी पी माइनस पॉइंट एट सिक्स नाइन स्केन इट इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन अनदर इक्वेशन इज द बिल्ड अप इक्वेशन दैट इज एनी टाइम आफ्टर विच वेल हैज बीन सर्टेन जो प्रेशर बिल्ड अप प्रेशर दैट इज वेल बोर्ड सेट प्रेशर प्लस विल बी रेटेड एज पी आई माइनस स्लोप log of tp plus delta t divided by delta t when we combine these two equation so what we get is the and solve it for skin and that is 1.151 into well board side pressure minus pwf divided by m and plus 1.151 log of 1688 mu ct rw square divided by kt Plus one point one five m log of T P plus delta T divided by T P. So here in this equation, we neglect the last term that is log of T P plus delta T divided by T P. And and conventionally, for well test practice, the delta T is taken for one hour. We write P W S at one hour, that is P one hour, and the equation for the skin is reduced to the final equation, that is one point one five one P one hour minus P W F. Ah, uh, that P W F is actually the P W S at delta t equal to zero, and this equation P one hour minus P W F minus slope. Sorry, divided by slope minus log of k five mu ct r w square plus three point two three. Remember this equation. This is very uh, useful equation. We can also write this equation. Say when delta t one data is not very much recorded because it has been distorted by. Well bore effects. In that case, we can take some other delta t apart from one hour, and we will use this equation. That will be one point one five one p at instead of p one hour, we can use that p at that time. That is p delta t and as p developed divided by slope minus log k into delta t five mu ct r w square plus three point two three. Remember this form because if you remember this, you can replace the p delta t by p one hour, and you put delta t equal to one. That previous equation will be achieved. And remembering this equation is more uh, because the gate they were asked for delta t equal to five hour, and this delta p or pressure at One hour or pressure at say any other delta t must be from the extrapolated line depicted depicted in this figure. That how that extrapolation is done, and at any delta t, how to estimate that p one hour or similarly p delta t. So we had seen how to estimate the permeability and how to estimate the skin from the well test data from this plotting technique that is called. Hardness plotting.